Me. Me. Thank you very much to Max Jazz Games for sponsoring uh, the game plan. You can play Max Jazz Games uh, debut. Well, uh, I say debut. I don't know if it's their debut title or not. Uh, and I, I was about to say recent. Maybe it's not even their most recent title. I award need more award winning title. Award winning title because we have awarded it awarded it best game to ever sponsor. The, the game, game plan, plan uh, and that is Kung Poopy. You can be playing Kung Poopy right now. Your gaming week is sort of with Kung Poopy, available now on the iOS App Store. Uh, when's that Android port coming as well? I'm just saying. Mm. I mean, I normally wouldn't. I wouldn't, normally wouldn't call out sponsors um, for things they haven't done, but I'm just saying, Max Jazz Games. You know, Pete's sitting there. He's never you, been able to play this game. You want another award? Get that thing on. I don't have a single Apple device in this house. Actually, there's some in a cupboard somewhere. <laughs> Uh, okay, so thank you very much to Max Jazz Games. The game plan is where we look at the games that come out this week so you can plan out your week in video games. Let's take a look at the titles dropping this week, starting off with Angus Ronald. Sure Finally, thing. let's start Tuesday, September 28th, where New World is coming out on PC. Explore a thrilling open world MMO filled with danger and opportunity where you'll forge a new destiny on the supernatural island of Atenum. In Sound Mind is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. In Sound Mind is an imaginative first person psychological horror with frenetic puzzles, unique boss fights, and original music by the Living Tombstone. Journey within the inner workings of the one place you can't seem to escape <laughs> your own mind. Uh, staying on Tuesday, Lemnus Gate comes out on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Lemnus Gate is a revolutionary turn-based combat strategy FPS taking place, oh god, in a time loop. Master the <laughs> unique abilities of powerful deep space operatives and compete in mind-bending four-dimensional battles. All four dimensions. Insurgency Sandstorm is a time loop game. No, it's not. Uh, Insurgency Sa Sandstorm is coming to PlayStation and Xbox on Wednesday, September 29th. A team-based tactical FPS based on lethal close quarters combat and objective-oriented multiplayer gameplay. Experience the intensity of modern combat where skill is rewarded and teamwork wins the fight. And I do just want to say, it feels like, and I haven't played, I've played this game at all. So, yeah, I'm shit talking something I'd, I've never even played. But... It, when you say you've made a team-based FPS based on close quarters combat and objective multiplayer gameplay, it's like we got nothing unique about our game <laughs> that we can add to the description. Angus Ronald. DAP is coming out on PC. DAP is a horror action adventure about gathering and protecting a pack of fragile creatures called DAPs. Lead your DAPs to safety through an eerily beautiful world, fighting off threats, solving puzzles, and avoiding the infection that twists your companions, those are the DAPs, into something alien and terrifying. Speaking of terrifying, A Juggler's Tale is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. Lead Abby the String Puppet through a bruised but beautiful fairy tale world in this cinematic adventure. Solve riddles, evade traps, and shake off pursuers on the way to find freedom. Can Abby take control of her fate with all the strings attached? Moving on to Thursday, Rogue Lords comes out on PC, a dark fantasy roguelike where you play as the devil. Lead famous evil geniuses through events and turn-based fights to spread terror and corruption. Create synergies between your disciples, use your evil powers, and take revenge on those miserable, miserable demon hunters. Industria is coming to PC. It's a first-person shooter that takes you from East Berlin into a parallel reality shortly before the end of the Cold War. On the search for a missing work colleague, you decipher a dark past in a mysterious parallel dimension. E-Football is coming out on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. From Pez to E-Football, trademark, Pez, the iconic soccer game series, has been rebranded to E-Football, trademark. This change signals a new era of virtual soccer with enhanced graphics and gameplay. Get ready to enjoy a brand new soccer experience that only E-Football, trademark 2022, can offer. Uh, Bonfire Peaks is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Switch. Set your belongings on fire on a beautiful <laughs> voxel art puzzle island. <laughs> Aeon Drive is... I love that as an idea for a video game. Burn your Take stuff. Your and set it on fire. <laughs> Aeon Drive is coming uh, to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. Rush through the cyberpunk landscape of Neo Barcelona in Aeon Drive, an action platformer with a speed running twist, whether solo or in up to four player co op, sprint and dash through many areas of the neon infused city and use your time and space bending abilities to get ahead. 
Uh, that's uh, AM Drive. Astrea Ascending oh, is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. Explore a vast world on the brink of chaos in a mature, emotional JRPG. Experience an epic story with rewarding turn-based combat and expansive customization rendered in glorious 4K hand-drawn visuals. Uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed is coming out on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. Collect the best vehicles in the Hot Wheels universe, build spectacular tracks, and drive into breathtaking races. And FIFA 22 is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch on Friday, October 1st, powered by Football TM. EA Sports <laughs> FIFA 22 TM on the EA Sports and also on the FIFA 22 brings the game even closer to the real thing with fundamentally fundamental gameplay advances and a new season of innovation across every mode. And I forgot a game because it wasn't on the list. And I You're, looked it up wrote the halfway list. through. Yeah. I, no, I know, but it wasn't on the list that I check of like, here's everything that's coming out. <laughs> sure. And I can't believe that I nearly <laughs> missed this one. Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye expansion is coming out on September 28th. We don't have footage for it and I've put it in the wrong spot, but Will will figure this out for the TikTok version. Uh, <laughs> Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye uh, is an expansion where we don't really know anything about what it is, uh, but oh my God. I'm so, I cannot believe it's, I can't believe this wasn't on the list of games that, I look at two lists, it wasn't on either of those lists, this is some bullshit. Um, so, there you go, out of wide DLC, Echoes of the Eye, coming out. I thought it was coming out in October, I'm so- It's coming out tomorrow. I'm shook, I need to, we need to actually genuinely rework our week now. Okay, cool, so that's all the games that come out this week, probably, there's probably some huge game that we also missed. Uh, let's start off with Peter Burns, what are you excited for for this week? Out of Wilds, Echoes of the- <laughs> uh, No, I'm not interested in that. I am probably most keen on, um, there's nothing really for me this week. <laughs> The thing that is the most Peter is New World, and I can't do it to myself, so I won't. Yep. Um, Good man. What about Dap? What about no, Dap? Dap looks... I, I hate the look of Dap. I think yeah, I didn't love awful. that art style, yeah. I'll be honest. Um, like, maybe... Maybe a, a Juggler's Tale, which looks like... Looks pretty creepy to me. Um, it is... Kind of like, looks like... Unra not Unravel. What was the one with the two string people that was really sweet? Um, that, um, it was Unravel, wasn't it? That was Unravel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. getting some Unraveled limbo Unravel, Unravel vibes, but like obviously it's it's a sad puppet girl. So yeah, Pete, you're right. It's gonna be it's gonna be dark. Yeah, yeah. I think like you know we've played a lot of this type of game now, like between Inside and uh, the what's the ones with the person in the yellow thing, Little Nightmares, Limbo, um, Limbos. It's like it's been done a lot. I do enjoy them a lot when they're done well. I really like Little Nightmares too. Um, this could, if it's like, you know, a three, four hour thing, be a, a fun little thing to, to play through. So mm -hmm. that's probably the thing that's up my alley uh, the most. Cool. Angus Ronald. Insurgency Ronald. Sandstorm is a game <laughs> that I have been looking forward to playing for quite a while. Uh, it's had a long draw. Is it out. really? Yeah, yeah, for ages. Um, I, I've, a couple of my mates and I all play a lot of military shooters, and um, they they have all pre-ordered this. Um, so I believe this game already has been out on um, previous Xbox, so Xbox One um, and PS4. Four, um, and this is finally getting an update, update, an upgrade to current gen. Um, and it has, and I think it's on PC as well, or has been on PC for a while. So I think it's got like a big following of like diehards who enjoy super realistic military sims. I don't think it looks particularly good, but I think what's there is actually like a really um, big fleshed out game. Kind of like let's let's dance somewhere between armor. And COD, I think it's like yeah. a kind of happy medium. It's totally like a tactical shooter as yeah. opposed to an yeah. And we like we all play Rainbow Six terrorist hunt mode all the time. Um, we don't play as much COD because it is just too frenetic. But this looks like a fun one. And what's cool about this is that it has a big PvP mode, but it has up to eight player PVE where you just go into these big maps full of enemies. And I think it kind of it feels a little bit like uh, they randomly might spawn in different areas and stuff. So it has just an idea to do skirmishes with friends, which is what we really, we really like doing because it just has like heaps of replayability enemies yeah. move around sporadically and add that to what looks like some pretty serious gunplay which is not the reason we love these games like I, i've got one or two friends who really like knowing everything about the weapons but it does look really brutal in the sense that it's like one sh you know headshots will take out everyone possibly body shots drop people as well i don't know if that's going to make it f that 
that could run the risk of being really not fun uh, mm -hmm. that we work out as we play more of it. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, we've been hanging out for ages. I think this has even had a few delays in this port as well. So um, yeah. It almost looks like a VR game. And like, that's a, a little bit of a, a dig. It looks like, but it, it's very detailed in its kind of like physics, yeah. um, which is cool as well. So I, like, I think there's some, there's some obvious like fidelity trade-off maybe to having something that's really, really detailed in how, how you, like, approach the map and stuff. Yeah, I think PvE is really cool. That's exciting. Uh, um, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that, that you were genuinely... I'm sorry that I talk shit about it. I just think that the description <laughs> could be... No, could I think be it's, it's been out since... Um, it's a sequel to a 2014 game, and uh, it came out in 2018 originally. Um, so it's been out for ages, and it's clearly got a good <laughs> player base or a reason that they want to port it up. Uh, without making a, a new sequel to it. So, yeah, we're just really keen to jump in and try it out and see if there's, as I said, I play with, like, sometimes four to six friends and to be able to play with all six of us in a co-op, let's move through a map together and all try and, like, work together could be really fun. So, yeah. Yeah, cool. That's, that's my pick. <clears throat> Great. Uh, well, I mean, my pick is incredibly, obviously, Out of Wilds DLC. Um, I really thought this was coming in October, so <laughs> I am... I, like I'm, I'm physically now like, oh my god, I'm gonna play it tomorrow. Um, so that is incredibly exciting. I cannot believe it's finally here. What's it called? Um, Echoes of the Eye. Echoes of the Eye. Yeah. Uh, but I will shout out that the thing that uh, that was my pick before the shattering piece of information, um, uh, was <laughs> New World. I'm really excited for New World. Uh, I'm really keen to, to um, uh, to be jumping back I in to an MMO. I, I like. I tried with Final Fantasy fourteen, and I may continue. I got you know. I've put maybe fourteen, no, maybe a bit less, maybe ten hours into that. But th there's something about just you know all the normal MMO shit in it. It's very intense. Whereas this this feels a little more streamlined. I don't. I'm not looking for an MMO to completely consume my life, which seems like why play an MMO then. Uh, mm. But I I do like everything that I saw of like our community playing this. Everyone mm. was really excited about it. And I and also like I think that playing an MMO is best when you're playing not necessarily with people, but at the same time as other people who are playing that thing. Sure. I think that's why Destiny has sort of like picked up as a game that our community play it because it's like you keep hearing other people around you playing Destiny. And so I think jumping into something like this when a lot of the audience is going to be doing it as well um, is uh, is pretty exciting. So it comes out tomorrow as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a big week for games for Nick, I think. Uh, so mm. New World. I know not so much for Peter. <laughs> not so much for Pete. Um, yeah, if I can manage to not play New World, then I'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's so true. It's like there's a game that Peter wants to play, but Peter Peter is making the healthy choice <laughs> to live. Uh, so that is what we're playing this week. Let us know what is on your game plan by heading to the Discord uh, and telling us what you're excited about. Are you like RK Blob and are just constantly screaming in, in chat caps? about how excited they are <laughs> about Out of Wild? Good on you, Blob. I'm excited as well. Um, I don't know. Is that a game that I can stream or is that something? That's just going to like ruin world. for people who want to. No, Outer Wilds. Oh, Outer, Outer Wilds. Wilds. You can totally stream it. Yeah, maybe. I think I should. I think yeah. I should stream it because a bunch of people won't play it. And yep. those who will play it will pl probably have finished it by the time I stream it. So there you go. Um, there you go. You okay. justified that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs>